Okay, guys, what's up? Another video from Wiz9090 Tutorials. Uh, today is going to be an Adobe After Effects tutorial. Uh, it's going to be how to make a portal in Adobe After Effects. Uh, so, before we, we're going to go ahead and hit File, Normal, uh, we can do a new composition, whatever. Uh, we'll do Portal. Uh, now this is going to be uh, set up for my camera, so yours will be for you. And this is probably actually not even going to fit what goes in my camera, so we're just going to go ahead and import multiple files. Uh, I already have another video like that that I have made. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab from another video that I've made, an effects video that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. This should be my effects test. Uh, maybe I don't have it. Uh, but anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and grab this from somewhere. There we go. Hands are weapons. Uh, just gonna hit done. I don't have another file to put in right now. Just gonna drop that in. I'm gonna hit Control Alt F to fit screen. Uh. Now throughout it, it goes into my actual video. I'm just going to right click, do time, freeze frame, just so that way it's just that picture that doing the entire time you can do whatever. I'm just going to lower that down. Uh, now you can use uh, Photoshop, whatever. I'm going to use paint.net, a free thing. You can actually just use paint if you want to. But I'm just going to open up paint.net, it's free download. This will open up. Alright, uh, we're just gonna... That'll be fine. I'm just gonna grab a circle. Well, now, first we're gonna take the dump. What? Uh, we're gonna do a greenish color. Just drop it in. Gonna grab a circle. And we're gonna turn it back to um, we're gonna turn it to a bluish, darkish bluish color. Uh, just make a circle anywhere that kind of sort of looks like a per portal. Uh, we'll take the dump tool, dump blue inside of it. Grab our oval tool again. Click our eye drop tool. Flip the green back. Uh, just. Make a nice inner circle. That'll be fun. Just dump it in there. Uh, no, it's okay. There's a little stuff up top, but it was fine. Uh, we'll do the file. We'll save ours. We'll do it. Uh, I already have one saved on my desktop, so I'm just going to try and import it. I'm going to type in Pertle 1. I'm going to save it as JPEG and hit Shave. Uh, now you can do a red and blue, whatever. Next that out. I'm just going to go down to my desktop. Uh, switch down. And I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. Because I really don't need it. But that's what you do. Right now you'll do... I'm going to do a file. And... What file? Desktop. I have portal red and blue. Uh, you can make these just like that. Uh, we're gonna drop it into a new comp. We're gonna open up. This would make completely different from the other one. We're gonna do effect keying key light. You will have to have the key light pack to uh, plug in pack. Click your eye drop tool. Click it right there. Take everything out with blue. Right click. Right click. Uh, where is it? 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 Right click, distort, ripple. Uh, click your center of ripple. Center of ripple. Make sure it's in the center of your portal. Uh, you can get 
grab your radius and drag it up, and it messes it up. A hundred is too wild. Uh, you just drag it up. Sixty-eight looks fine. I mean, it might not look fine when it's actually rendered out. You can see, you can scrub through there, and it does rotate around. It's like, whoa, I'm a portal. I'm a portal. Okay, we'll go ahead and exit off that comp and go back to our main comp. We got portal blue here. We'll just drag it uh, right above it. We'll drag it down, alright, and we will hit effect while the portal blue is selected. We will do distort power pin, and you see it makes four points right here. Uh, so that way you can like, you can kind of just pull it like, say there's a slant right there, you can do something like that. This just so it looks like it's actually on the wall or whatever you have. You can lay it completely down, whatever, I'm just going to pull it up. And so it kind of sort of looks like it's on that door right there. Mm. Scale it up a little bit. That looks fine. Uh, you can scrub through it. And you can still see that the portal is still turning. And it just looks like it's up there. Alright, we'll head back to our project. We'll start a new comp. Oh. Uh... That's fine. We'll do layer. Oop. We'll do a new solid. Make comp size white, square pixels, 800, 600, just match your comp. Uh, now we'll remember we got blue, we'll go to effect for it. And we will do noise and grain. Fractal noise. And you see it makes this cool looking thing. I will do fractal. Oh. Noise type, no, where is it, where is it, fractal type, here we go, uh, let's see, what fractal type do we want? I mean, really, you can just go through here and you can, like, pick all your different things, but swirly is what we want, it just depends on what you want, that looks a little portal-ish, does not, uh, then we close that up, it affects, let's see, let's find it, let's find it. Color correction occurs. RGB is up here for red, green, blue. Just hit click it and click the blue since that's what it is. Uh, drag that up there and you can see it makes a light blue. But uh, click over to your. You see that's like a darkish blue. So it looks like it's not that dark. So down here is dark. Uh, uh -oh, it's too far. So just un control Z it back. Uh, maybe drag that up a little bit. Drag it down a bit. Give it a little darkish tint. Uh, I like that right there. That looks fine. We'll jump back over to our main project and we'll grab our comp one. Is what that was. Oh, we'll drag it right above Portal Blue. Uh, I think it don't think it did. Make sure it's above Portal Blue. Portal Blue is now covered up. We'll cut it off. Uh, make sure Comp is selected up here to our tools for our mask. Click and hold, and this pops up. Do our elliptical tool, ellipse, whatever. Uh, just drag in a circle right there. Then we can uh, right click our mask somewhere right there. Just right click it. Mask, a shape and path, free transform points. And you can drag it and just kind of shape it to go with that. Just make sure you're covering up all the insides. Uh, that looks good. And then we'll turn it back on. That looks really nice. Alright, uh, we'll pull our comp back out. Double click our comp, drag that, we'll just scale that down a little bit, and go back to our main portal. Now it's scaled down more, so now it looks a little bit better. So you can scroll through and you can still see your portal moving. But you can right click your comp. You can do effects. And you can just go to the, uh,
Dang it, where is it? But you can just go through there and find out all your different things. Evolution, go back to that. It is in your fractal noise thing, go to evolution. You can click to that, and I'll say about five rotations. And you see it just moves around, and then you can go back to your main portal. And right now it doesn't look like it is. that off. Sorry. But now that's scaled down. We need to do it again, so just grab it. Drag it out. Right click. Mouse shape of heart. Free transfer points. And just make sure it's covering up. It can go into the blue a bit. Turn your comp back on. And look at that. It is now rotating, you really can't tell it right now. Uh, now with this, you can also... Go ahead and turn that off. You can... I'm just going to copy that mask. I'm going to go into file, and I'm going to import a new file. And, uh, so let's just find something. Picture from Reach, from the beta. Cool little picture I took when I was playing it. Let's just drag it in. Drop it at the very top. Boom! Look at that. I will click it. Let's scale it down. Uh, I'll turn that off. Oh, the mass wasn't exactly how I was hoping it would go into it. So we'll just fix up our elliptical mask here. Make sure it's covered up. Right now we'll turn our reach, reach photo back on. It works better if you have a bigger photo, but I really didn't fix it that much. So you don't mess that up. So before you do your mask, make sure it's shaped right. But uh, you can see now it's like looking through at a thing of reach and it's rotating. You can do all sorts of things. Just do what you think you should do with it. It'll look nice. It'll look good. You could even do the whole go through. But just work with that and you should be good. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this and how to get free stuff. Send me a comment of what you want to know how to get free or what you want to have to know how to do in After Effects or anything like that, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Go check out my main channel, Wiz9990, for just main videos. Go check out the Wiz, vlog, the Wiz Vlog channel, which is my vlogging channel and my just like number two channel, so go check that out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and subscribing.